Those who say it can't be done are usually interrupted by others doing it. James Baldwin. Hey, this is Mary Bevington of Mary B. Spiritual Council for People, Pets, and Businesses. Lessons from Aspens. I'm in an Aspen Grove right now. I also have a pine tree behind me. And I just want to say that a grove is actually like one tree. Seems like many trees, but they're upside down trees, the aspens. So their trunk is underneath the ground. And then everything you see above you here <laughs> is actually uh, part of the root system that's up above the earth. So uh, pretty interesting. They have this kind of mystery element in that sense of sort of hiding the tree part, but then we see all the root parts. So they expose their roots. They're uh, allowing intimacy in that sense. They also give us gifts. So I'm rubbing the, um, the bark because it has SPF 5 in it. And if I were a person or an animal that had antlers, I might rub my antlers here because there's a slight antiseptic, anti-pain uh, type medicine in this bark that helps the antlers feel a little bit better. It actually feels kind of like a nice little medicine on my skin. For whatever reason, it's just kind of soft. And they also give the gifts of their leaves. We're on a little journey here, so I get a little closer to the leaves. Um, but these leaves, check out these colors. They're just like this golden, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. So um, they, like all trees, they save their vibrancy for the fall and, and they give us this amazing display of beautiful golden light. Love it. Love the vibration of gold too. It's a really high, powerful vibration. So yeah, I'm gonna get a little closer to the earth and to these leaves and give us a little last um, moment here. So one thing I think that's so lovely that we can learn from the aspens is that they're pioneer species, so they're leaders in that way and they fix the nitrogen into the soil as well as they find disturbed areas such as avalanche slopes or erosive event areas where they can provide structure. So they're a little bit like the, the masculine in that sense uh, a friend of mine named Jenna uh, likes to talk about how the aspens are very much like our root chakra in that they root deep into the earth and they're, they're earthy in that sense and they help survival. So I'm just picking up a few more little leaves here to show you one more here just because they're so pretty. I like how they're, they're kind of shaped like little hearts as well. <sighs> Yay, aspens. <laughs> beautiful day. It's September 25, 25th. My mom and my niece Azure's birthday, 2020. If you need help, holler at me, marybevington.com. Do a session or healing. And um, yeah, I appreciate you being here. And you take good care. Whoa! <laughs> 2020. Okay, bye now.